Let's bring in our political analyst here, Abdul Hakim Shabazz, editor at IndyPolitics.org, now weighing in again on some of those big races. Abdul, looking at the numbers right now, how do you think the presidential race will shake out? Uh, well, the one thing to keep in mind with the presidential race is they have a lot of uh, mail and absentee ballots uh, to count. Uh, they have like two million in Pennsylvania, I want to say like a million uh, in Michigan or so. Uh, and Wisconsin, I want to say, just flipped like in the last hour or so. Uh, so this is going to uh, take a while uh, to get those ballots all counted. Uh, but the, the theory is, is that the mail-in ballots uh, heavily favor Joe Biden uh, over Donald Trump because Democrats had that big mail-in push. Uh, because of COVID-19. Uh, so it remains to be seen, but I think uh, the win is at the back of Joe Biden, at least for right now. Interesting. You had said Tuesday, yesterday when we talked to you, that you thought Governor Holcomb would have an easy win here in the Hoosier state. You were correct. He won by a landslide. Any thoughts on that? <laughs> uh, I was right. Yay. Score one, score one for the for the good guys here. Let's get one right uh, on occasion. Uh, no, uh, it wasn't surprising at all uh, that Governor Holcomb uh, did extremely well. Uh, what I thought uh, was surprising was uh, how poorly uh, Woody Myers did, particularly uh, in southern and central Indiana, because uh, actually in some counties actually came in third after the libertarian Don Rainwater. So that means the Democrats are going to have a lot of soul searching uh, to do uh, to get back on track so we can have a, a healthy, uh, almost kind of two party or at least a three party system uh, here in this state. But no, not surprised that the governor won uh, at all. And we're still waiting to hear the official results from the 5th Congressional District, although Victoria Sparks is confident she's going to take that seat. Abdul, the 5th District, it typically goes red this year. It's not expected to change over really at all, right? Um, it, it still could because there's still some outstanding votes. There are about uh, 20, 30,000 outstanding votes in Hamilton County and about 100,000 outstanding votes in Marion County. Now, granted, you, you still got to, you know, sort of separate where the 5th District is, so there's still a lot of outstanding votes uh, that are out there. So when Christina Hale said she was conceding, I, I totally understand why. Uh, however, uh, keep in mind, though, uh, that the 5th District is still, uh, still leans Republican. Donald Trump won. Um, and I want to say also uh, the governor won the 5th District as well. So that one, that one's going to be a barn burner for still a couple more days. All right, we'll continue to watch it. Abdul, thank you so much again for your time. Nick, we know that that congressional district has gained national attention. Yeah. Um, overnight, Christina Hale saying we are not conceding just yet. Yeah. She actually came out with some very strong words about how we need to let this play out before we make any announcements. And, and that's really the message for the entire election here right now is let things play out. Because obviously with all these votes coming in still, so many many left over, there's going to be a lot of movement going, uh, especially when, when we determine where these races are leaning. So patience really is going to be it's the key word here. We know they're going to pick those votes back up and start tallying them again this morning. So we obviously are going to be waiting to hear uh, more about that. But still